All right, it is February 7th. I'm uh, headed for my first kind of real shed hunt today. I'm um, gonna go to two or three different farms and pull a lot of my cameras that are still there. Um, one, because they've been sitting out there a long time. Two, if people decide to trespass during shed season, I don't want my camera stolen. So it's early February, but I'm headed to Southern Iowa. There's a lot less snow there than there is up here. So maybe I'll find an early drop or two, but the main goal is to uh, pull the cameras and maybe, like I said, hit a few, hit a few better areas if there's food or, you know, south facing hillsides that are easy to access. So that's the plan for today. All right, well, just got to the farm and we're gonna do a quick little hike for some sheds before I pull cameras. This spot, uh, this spot is pretty neat. It, uh, there's about a two acre piece of standing, standing beans and, uh, I'm hoping that the neighbor didn't walk it already last year we were out here. And uh, there were four wheeler tracks everywhere. So I'm hoping he stayed out as of now. But got everything set up. Gonna grab my gloves and we're gonna go look. All right, well, I'm walking these beans. Still a ton of beans in here. Which is kind of surprising because as far as I know, it's the only food within a mile or so. But I'm just kind of zigzagging through when I can. But there's still a decent amount of snow in here, surprisingly. So I guess the good news is I don't see any boot four-wheeler tracks in here. So I'm going to make one more pass through this. And then I'm going to uh, walk the perimeter and walk some of these grass hillsides. Cause if they're not in the food, they gotta be somewhere like that. So this is why I think it's so important to get out and actually walk for sheds. My truck was parked down there. I literally drove, my tire track is right there. I missed that one driving in. I don't know how I missed it. But that is a nice shed. Granted, everything is either broken in velvet or broken off, but it counts. All right, we moved to the other side of the farm and I've walked a couple miles on this side I'm at. Almost at mile six. Just found one. Right up here by this TRP in the farm, in this uh, grass. Right there. Oh. Here it is. It has been a long day. Like I said, I'm almost at six miles. Only the second shed, but I got some really good stuff for probably the last mile. And, uh, I got two more cameras to pull, and then we're gonna get out of this farm and go to another one and pull cameras. But I think there's a lot of deer still holding, and uh, only two sheds would be some good indication of that. But let's go see if we can find another one or two. Well, I just pulled one of my self cams, and judging off of it, most of the deer are still holding, kind of what I figured. But I looked down here, and uh, I think I found the match to this one. It, uh, there's only a couple shed bucks and only maybe two half racks, but yep, I'd say this is the match. Nothing huge, but I'll take it. All right, well, just got back to the truck. I am going to pause my workout 
I am at three hours and did right at six and three quarter miles. That was a lot more of a walk than I initially intended to, but when I saw that there was no boot tracks and no uh, um, four-wheeler tracks, I thought it was now or never, and turned out it was a pretty good walk. This is the first one I found, big beam. That must have been busted in velvet, and then those two, so probably three-year-old um and then this set not huge but nice cool cool looking deer probably he's i don't know he two or three i don't know his bases are pretty big he's got some cool character junk on the bases and just full of full of beating and stuff on the on the main beams and up the brow tine which is pretty neat so I am going to run to one other farm and pull cameras and I might do one loop around the perimeter to see if I can't find any sheds by the fence line before the neighbor does the same thing and jumps the fence. So, uh, got about a 45 minute drive, get in, get out of there, get a snack, eat some, eat some deer and, uh, get ready for the next go. All right. So I just got to the second farm. Um, there's a lot more snow here than there was at the first one. This is more of a uh, pick up my cell cameras and stuff that I've shut off. And uh, I'm going to walk a little bit of the perimeter before the neighbors do. Just in case if there's anything on my side of the fence. I don't want them to jump it and take it. So, so I've been walking on this farm about 45 minutes. And I just found a big shed. It's a, uh, it's a good one. Try to get over here. See if you can see it. Right there. Let's go grab it. This makes number four for the day. It's an old one. Yeah. It's old, but it's a good one. And, uh, yeah. I know I walked this exact trail last year in mid March. Either he was still holding or, uh, or something drug it over here but either way it's the biggest one of the year and number five for me so we're gonna keep on looking all right grand total over ten and a half miles and just at five hours um, that and 1600 calories not bad workout so finally got to the truck loading up and I'm going home. I'm beat.